Pirates. They like the tanking whizzy again to show you how to do a little bit more stuff with your DAOC in Origins. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Bob's UI and then overlay the Pith UI on top of it. So first of all you want to download obviously Bob's UI and Pith UI. Once you got them download this really pretty simple. Double click on your Bob's UI and then extract extract all if you'll notice it has a custom folder in there that's to make it easier on you so what you want to do is go to your origins folder like I said I have mine divided out because I still play Uthgard some and this also the same uh, same way you want to do it for Uthgard so double click on your origins folder electronic arts dark age camelot UI and you see it has a custom in there, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and select that folder to uh, place it. Make sure it's the right one. UI extract. And it's going to extract all 14,000 items. May take it just a minute. Okay, now that we're all done with the extracting of the files, we can close that out so that we're out of the. Uh, extraction part. What we want to do is go to where our origins folder is, Electronic Arts, Dark Age Camelot, UI, and then double click on custom. We'll go down here and choose our oops, I think I went too far. There it is. Options chooser.exe. Right click on that send it to desktop and then double click on options chooser and this way you can set bobs to look the way you want to look where you want it to look um, I tend to use the cobalt. Now when you click on the bubble, it'll say processing changes. That's all you need to do. Once you close out this, the changes will have already been affected. So you don't have to uh, do any special saving, save as, or anything like that. Just click on the changes you want and they'll be there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through real quick and get everything set up the way I like it. Okay, what I like to do is I like to overlay Pith on top of Bob's UI. It's got just a few little different things. It's not really a full UI like Bob's is. So the combination of the two is what I like. And once again, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. We're going to extract, extract all. We're going to tell it to go to the origins folder. Electronic Arts, Dark Age Camelot, UI, and select folder. Do extract. Yes, we want to replace. Do this for all current items. Yes. files in the destination okay now like Bob's you have to set up a few things so let's go to our origins folder again, Electronic Arts, Dark Age Camelot, UI, Custom. Now then, he did his a little bit differently. He put a little tilde in front of the options chooser so it's easier to find. Uh, just go ahead and create desktop again. Now what we want to do is go to that chooser. 
as you can see there's a whole lot less choices you can change the compass you can do all sorts of things let's go ahead and go to one that we will change uh, I know I'll change the chat font I'm old I'm blind I need big font so I click on it changes the option press any key to continue now you can exit and your uh, changes are saved it's really that simple so let me go ahead and actually I don't need to do all that let's go ahead and go to uh, to the final step which is pretty simple what we want to do is we want to log in Dark Age of Origins under development play And this is where you have to uh, do the final changes. You want to click on Customize. Oops, wrong one. Uh, want to go to Options. Let me wake up here. Skin Choices, you want to choose a custom skin. Accept. Go ahead and quit out of it real quick. Just to make sure the changes take effect. I know on Uthgard, they wouldn't. Oh yeah, I'm already running one. Once again, we're going to log in. Dark Age of Origins play. Play. And voila.